When a fire burns through changing seasons, firefighters adapt. It's part of what these firefighters are up against, and they're, they're used to it this time of year. Cass Cairns is on her last day of 21 assigned to the Cameron Peak Fire as a public information officer. Right now we're at 124,026 acres. In three weeks, she's seen the fire grow and firefighters deal with all kinds of conditions, like Saturday's 60 mile per hour winds. And that just carried that fire fast and furious across, uh, across the landscapes. After Labor Day weekend, firefighters even worked through snow, but Sunday night, they had their first freeze. So last night, we they got down into the 20s along with wind chill. Again, they pitched tents in the snow, but this time they took time to protect equipment. Firefighters knew that what they were gonna have to do was to winterize the pumps, hoses, and any other infrastructure that was out there. That meant filling pumps with antifreeze. Any kind of liquid that's in there that is not, that can freeze, will freeze, and that will jam up the pumps and they will no longer work. Cold weather also won't stop the fire from spreading. What happens when it gets really cold like that, it also uh, starts drying things out even more. A heavy rain or snow is what firefighters need. This one definitely is not going away. And it's the change they welcome. Noel Brennan, 9 News. There are more than 800 firefighters currently assigned to that fire. It's already burned an area nearly the size of Colorado Springs and is currently listed as just 21% contained.